Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something that seems a bit scary but can render great results if done properly. We're going to be breaking into the latest receivers on the market. They're not even on the market yet, so mm, a bit scary. I'm quite sure that Powerbox won't repair these under warranty afterwards, so definitely think it through before trying anything similar at home. But I want to try out the Powerbox core radio on my quad racers and at the moment as they've only sent me these receivers which are a bit big in reality for the racers themselves I'm going to try stripping it down. Now this isn't something new it's just new to these receivers which aren't even on the market yet. So. Let's take a peek into what exactly is inside these receivers and what it is I can do to make them that little bit smaller. Now, they're a plastic case with basically a sticker around them. So I'm guessing the first thing I have to do is get rid of the sticker. The plastic case is two parts as is normal for receivers. So I'm going to cut down the join and hopefully that will quite simply just open up, leaf open. We'll see. So cutting into it. Ooh feels wrong, it always feels wrong no matter what receiver it is. There we go, that's one side. Do the same on the other. careful not to cut your fingers off. If you do, don't blame me. Ah, there we go. That was uh, easier than expected. So, here we have the insides of a power box core receiver. As always with, as always with power box uh, products, it seems to have the uh, gold plated uh, circuit board which doesn't just add bling but actually allows current to pass through it even easier than with copper. Let's see what else have we got, does this come out? There we go. Okay so already we've reduced a bit of size as far as how high it is because the height of this is all due to these pins. The aerial is on a push fitting, so we can change that if need be, which is great news as these drones go through quite a few antennas if you are not careful with how you place it. So you just pop that off, put a new one on if it does get cut anywhere along its length. Uh, I'm, I'm not great with electronics, so I'm not actually completely sure what it is I'm looking at, other than the inside of the receiver that we just opened. But it would seem that we could also get rid of this solder here to remove these pins, which would gain quite a bit more in as far as how small this thing can be. As I said, it's gonna be scary, so <laughs> bear with me. And if the worst comes to the worst, well, I'll have to use it as it is. As I said, I'm quite sure that Powerbox don't approve of me doing this and they definitely won't be repairing any of these under any kind of warranty. Okay, time to get the soldering iron out. Uh, we didn't need the hammer, so that's always uh, <laughs> a little bit easier. And uh, I'll be back with you in a moment with a bit more heat.
Okay, so far so good. We've got the receiver out of the case and we've managed to strip it of most of its pins. That's made the actual board a lot smaller than it was and a lot easier to fit anywhere into one of my quad racers. Now, upon removing those pins, you probably saw that I was very careful to leave very clean solder joints, making sure that none of them overlap onto each other, as I really don't want to have anything shorting out, as I'm not sure if those are common or not. So, better safe than sorry, and I've left them all individual as they were when they came out of the factory. So, the next step is to see if all of this has been worth it and it still works, or if I have simply destroyed a perfectly good, brand new, and not even on the market yet, receiver. Now, at the moment, because I've taken it out of its case, I could connect the battery in either direction. But of course, one of those would have reverse polarity. So, in order to prevent that, I'm going to compare the board to another receiver identical to how this started off this morning to make sure that I don't do that. So with a couple of reference points, as you can see the antenna is sort of towards the bottom, so like so. And then just to double check, as well as the, the antenna at the bottom, we can also see the LED is in the same place as well. So these are now currently both facing exactly the same way. Now, on this one, I can see that the battery goes in like so, with the negative closest to the table and the positive facing upwards. And I'm going to connect it in that manner to test it out. Now, I haven't even turned this receiver on yet before taking it out of its case. So, first thing I need to do is actually bind it and see if it is going to bind or not. As long as it binds, I'm going to consider it as a win, as that means that it's working perfectly and there's no magic smoke. We all know that if it once releases the magic smoke, there's no way of getting it back in again. So, I have a new model on the radio. I'm going to put it into binding mode. And I'm now going to connect the battery. Green LED means that we have bound correctly. It's receiving a signal from the radio and it's sending that across to what would be the servos if they would be connected and the bus system which we're actually going to be using. So green LED, great news. Time to get this bad boy into the quad racers and really put it through its paces. Okay then, let's try it.
Okay then, there you have it. Powerbox Core Flying Quad Racer. As you probably saw, the video signal was a bit bad, especially behind the trees. Almost as bad as the flying that I was doing, as I haven't flown these for forever. But the radio signal between the transmitter and the quad was spot on throughout. I've used about 8 or 10 batteries this morning, all of them perfect, spot on, not a problem, no matter where I was flying. Even when I was behind myself, through the trees, behind the trees, not a delay, not a problem. So, really happy with that and even more confident in the system for the large models and jets where it's going to be going from now on. Really happy, time to get some more flying done. See you next time. Oh, and remember, subscribe to the channel already. Full of great stuff. Let me know how you get on. See you next time.